Mission space stylized as mission space is a centrifugal motion simulator thrill ride at Epcot in Walt Disney World Resort in Orlando, Florida. It simulates what an astronaut might experience aboard a spacecraft on a mission to Mars, from the higher g-force of liftoff to the speculative hypersleep. The attraction opened to the public in a soft opening mode in June 2003, and celebrated its grand opening on October 9 with a ceremony attended by Disney CEO Michael Eisner, HP CEO Carly Fiorina and NASA Administrator Sean O'Keefe, as well as several NASA astronauts from its many phases of human space exploration Mercury, Gemini, Apollo, the Space Shuttle program and two crew members aboard the International Space Station. The attraction was built on the former site of Horizons, a dark ride that offered optimistic visions of what life might be like in the future. Horizons closed permanently in 1999 after a few years of sporadic operation. Construction began on Mission Space shortly thereafter. Industry estimates put the cost of developing the new attraction at $100 million. The pavilion, like others at Epcot, features a VIP lounge for HP employees called the Red Planet Room. Initially it was sponsored by Compaq, which began working with Disney Imagineers on the design in April 2000. Hewlett-Packard assumed the sponsorship upon its merger with Compaq in 2002. The simulator hardware used in Mission, Space was designed and built by Environmental Tectonics Corporation of Pennsylvania with a nearly $30 million contract awarded in February 2000. Environmental Tectonics sued Disney in 2003 seeking over $15 million U.S. alleging failure to pay the full amount of the contract and sharing proprietary design details with competitors. Disney countersued alleging the company failed to deliver according to the contract and increased the cost of the ride by nearly $20 million U.S. The companies settled in January 2009. The attraction was completely closed for a refurbishment on June 5, 2017. During the D23 Expo 2017, it was confirmed that the Green Mission would be given a new video simulating a flight around the Earth, and the Orange Mission would keep the Mars mission, but with updated graphics. The attraction reopened on August 13, 2017. Topic: Ride. Topic: Experience. Mission – Space is meant to simulate astronaut training for the first manned mission to Mars aboard the fictional X-2 Deep Space Shuttle in 2036, right after the 75th anniversary of Yuri Gagarin becoming the first human to enter space. The year 2036 can be deduced from plaques in the attraction's queue celebrating 75 years of human spaceflight, including two faux milestones in the future. Riders are trainees at the fictional International Space Training Center, where they are arranged into crews of four before watching an introductory video featuring actor Gary Sinise, who starred in the space dramas Apollo 13 and Mission to Mars. In the 2017 update, Gary Sinise was replaced by actress Gina Torres. Also, the female flight director was replaced by a male one. Before boarding the simulators, each rider is assigned an on-board role navigator, pilot, commander, or engineer and given two tasks to perform during the mission pressing a specific button when prompted. 
For example, one of the commander's buttons initiates the rocket's first stage separation, and the other activates manual flight control. The spacecraft's onboard self-automated pilot will perform each task if the rider does not respond to his or her prompt from mission control or if there is no one to perform the task. Also featured are various labeled buttons and switches which the rider may play with but do nothing except generate various brief electronic sounds, they are only there to add to the realism aspect of the ride. The Mars mission includes liftoff from the ISTC, a slingshot around the Moon for a gravity-assisted boost, a brief period of simulated hypersleep to pass the lengthy time required to reach Mars, and a descent for landing on the Martian surface, where riders manually control the vehicle with a joystick. As a training exercise, the mission contains several unexpected situations that add to the drama. The Earth mission includes liftoff from the ISTC, an orbiting tour of the Earth, and a descent back to the ISTC that involves riders having to manually navigate through a thunderstorm over the landing runway using their joystick. The futuristic X-2 vehicle is a three-stage rocket which is said to use several technologies in development today, including aerospike engines, solid hydrogen fuel, an aerobrake, and carbon nanotubes. The attraction queue contains several items and commemorative plaques from past, present, and fictional future space missions. Among the items on display are props from the 2000 film Mission to Mars, including the rotating gravity wheel from the predecessor X-1 spacecraft, a model of which hangs from the ceiling, and a replica of a NASA moon rover from the Apollo program. Upon conclusion of the training exercise, guests are invited to participate in activities at the Advanced Training Lab, a post-show area containing a group game called Mission, Space Race in which players perform tasks as mission control technicians aiding 2x2 spacecraft racing to return to Earth, a space-themed play area for toddlers, a single-person, arcade-style game in which an astronaut explores Mars via jetpack, and a kiosk where brief video postcards can be created and sent via email. Mechanics The attraction is a multiple arm centrifuge that achieves the illusion of acceleration by spinning and tilting sealed capsules during the four-minute mission. Fans blow air gently at riders to help avoid motion sickness, and a magnified display in front of each rider simulates a window to space with high-resolution computer-generated imagery. Mission – Space comprises four separate centrifuges, each with ten capsules holding four riders. The attraction exposes riders to forces up to 2.5 g, more than twice the force of gravity at the Earth's surface effectively multiplying a rider's weight by 2.5. A few months after the ride's opening, motion sickness bags were added within easy reach of riders. Controversy. The minimum height requirement for mission, space is 44 inches 112 centimeters. Spiels and warnings throughout the attraction caution that people who do not like enclosed dark spaces, simulators, spinning, or are prone to motion sickness should not ride. Signs also warn that the ride may cause nausea, headache, dizziness, or disorientation, and that people prone to motion sickness, or who have a headache or an inner ear problem, or who have a history of migraines, vertigo, or elevated anxiety also should not ride. 
These signs are similar to those present at considerably less intense rides in the same park, such as Soren. There are also signs which instruct the rider to keep their head flat against the headrest, stating that if one ignores this, the centrifugal motion acting on one's head can cause undesirable effects such as dizziness and or headaches, or possibly even more serious effects. Several people have been taken to local hospitals for chest pain and nausea after riding. Most who complained of these symptoms were over 55 years old. Two people have died after completing the ride, although due to pre-existing conditions. One, a four-year-old boy, with an undiagnosed heart condition, and the other, a 49-year-old woman, from a stroke due to high blood pressure. On May 19, 2006, Disney began offering a less intense version of Mission, Space, called Green Team, also known as Less Intense Training or No Spinning, where the centrifuge does not spin, thus eliminating the forces of lateral acceleration for riders who choose the more tame experience. The cabs themselves still pitch and pivot, providing some motion. The normal ride is still available and is called Orange Team, also known as more intense training or spinning. Topic: Statistics. Show length: 538. Ride length: 355. Height requirement, 44 inches or 1.12 meters G-force, 2. 5 grams sustained Number of centrifuges, 4 Capsules per centrifuge, 10 Riders per capsule, 4 Capacity, 1,600 riders per hour Topic. Tributes to Horizons Horizons was the attraction that Mission, Space replaced. Keeping in line with a Disney tradition of paying tribute to defunct attractions in new attractions, Mission, Space features several subtle tributes to Horizons. The Horizons logo is on display at the center of the rotating gravity wheel in the queue. During the pre-show, the Horizons logo can be found on the bottom right-hand corner of some of the screens in the video, along with the text, Brava Centauri, the space-themed location featured in Horizons. With the 2017 refurbishment, the Brava Centauri station can be seen orbiting Earth in a new mural at the entrance of the attraction. The Horizons logo can also be seen during the safety briefing outside the capsule. The Horizons logo can also be found on the front of the cash register counter in the gift shop on the way out of the attraction. The planter at the front of the building formerly contained the Horizons marquee. The planter was not removed or significantly altered during Mission, Space's construction. There is also a tribute to the Magic Kingdom's mission to Mars and flight to the Moon attractions. In the mission control room in the queue, the footage of the bird landing was reused from the pre-show of said attractions.